Hey everybody, it's Billy from Wizard World. I'm here at the Comic Bug in Manhattan Beach, the coolest comic book store in town. Why? Because it's new Comic Book Wednesday, which means new Geekly News, which means you're going to have a heart attack. So sit down. I don't want you to get hurt. In Marvel movie news, Edgar Wright has exited the Ant-Man film. Now, he's been working on this movie for a long time, so there's a lot of theories on why he would have left the project. My personal theory is that Terrence Howard kidnapped him. If I can't be in a Marvel movie, no one can. In Marvel TV news, Charlie Cox, you may know him from Boardwalk Empire, has been cast as Daredevil in Netflix's Daredevil series. And Stevie Wonder has been hired as a technical advisor for the show. Too soon. In comic, movie, I don't even know what kind of news you would qualify this as, but screenwriter David Goyer recently referred to the She-Hulk character as a porn star. I, what does a She-Hulk porn even look like? I mean, you wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Besides cleaning up continuity, X-Men Days of Future Past cleaned up the box office with a $110 million holiday weekend. That brings it to about $260 million worldwide. Everybody's talking about the awesome Quicksilver scene, and you can meet Quicksilver himself, Evan Peters, at Wizard World Philadelphia Comic Con. You have to ask him, was the music in his earbuds going super freaking slow during that scene? I gotta know. And that does it for the Geekly News. Be sure to follow us on Facebook.com slash WizardWorld. Check out the rest of the awesome videos here on the YouTube page. And follow us on Twitter, at WizardWorld, all one word. We will see you guys around the con. <laughs>